Okay, your interest is piqued, but what exactly is the MEP Productivity Pack? Well, let's take a look at what exactly this thing is. It's a collection of templates, it's integrated family content, proven workflows that have all been documented, and standards that all come together into one big pack that makes it really easy for you to incorporate into your workflows. Let's take a look at that. What does it look like? Well, as I was mentioning, it's all documented. So we've got user guide that's sitting here. This user guide throughout it has about, oh, I would say about nine to 10 hours worth of video that are linked throughout this entire guide. What that means is you go to a section, you read some help, and you get a little 10, 15, 20 minute demo that goes along with that little user guide right there. So users get both uh, text-based feedback as to how to do something as well as video-based demo type feedback showing exactly how this pack works in different areas. You get a starter project. This is our template file. The starter project, this the main file right here, you can begin a project and start it up in just a few minutes. With that project, all you have to do is reload some links and you're pretty much on your way. It doesn't really take much more than that. Additionally here, we've got some shared parameters. Uh, 2200 as mentioned before. So the shared parameter files exist right here. There's also a little Excel file that exists to tell you how those parameters are used in different schedules and some of the formulas at play. And in case you decide to use some of the other CTC Express tools, we've got some shared parameter manager settings files to go along with the shared parameters themselves and some parameter jammer fix files. So when people use uh, content from the internet, they can certainly go in there and you know, fix the content using parameter jammer very rapidly and then finally refine that using the family processor tool set. We also include a bunch of schedules and details as mentioned. So they're separated out so the details files for electrical and mechanical are kept separate. You can see the file sizes are a little bit large there so instead of having users get the load of the details when they're just trying to bring in a few schedules, uh, we've decided to separate those out. And then of course electrical schedules and mechanical schedules makes this super simple for end users to be able to go in there, find the content they need, perhaps using a tool like BIMList, and uh, then dropping that into their project. There is, of course, the sample project that the rest of this series talks about and kind of goes through. That sample project file allows you to be able to go in and see exactly what we've done in an example file that we know works, that you can also trust works, that's also a part of the help documentation. So when you see something in the help documentation, you're like, hey, how did that exactly work again? you can take a look right inside the sample project file and see for yourself. And then of course, there's the MEPP content right there. So I can go into the model folder, you can see tons of categories of content all related to the MEP uh, trades. You also have a bunch of annotation inside of here, different types of tags that are available to work with all the content. So you're really starting with this springboard of a known good project base where you don't have to go reinvent all of this. And you can tweak it, of course, as you want, but you don't have to reinvent it. It's already all been done. So fantastic tool set there. All right, with that, you know what? If you want to see some of our other videos, hit the links here on this page. Make sure you kind of visit how we can do our project setup in minutes, or maybe you want to see more about the plumbing design side. Hit up these videos. Have a great day, and we hope that uh, you find some value here in the MEP Productivity Pack.